Good afternoon. The person who was shot, a woman, and police say she had a gun, and they say she pointed it at an officer, so that officer opened fire. This all played out in a busy part of Albuquerque early this morning. News 13's Catherine Mazone is live near Wyoming and Zuni in southeast Albuquerque. Catherine. Kim, the shooting happened near this intersection just before 6 a.m. or around 6 a.m. Police Chief Gordon Eden says police were out here searching for a female car thief suspect heading east when they spotted her rather heading east on Wyoming from Zuni. Eden says off an officer started running after her and then the suspect stopped, turned and pointed a handgun at close range. The officer fired at the suspect. All I heard was the three gunshots and then he just turned quiet. You know, I didn't hear no yelling, no nothing. I just heard a lot of cop cars coming. The suspect was dead on scene. Police were out here for hours investigating. Neighbors say they heard and saw officers in the area for about an hour before the shooting as well. Police haven't identified the victim. They're still trying to get a hold of the family. Now, police are also not identifying the officer who shot her, but that officer is on administrative, standard administrative leave. And we asked APD if the chief would come out with any more information regarding this shooting. They said they'd let us know when they know. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Catherine. Now, this is the third deadly police shooting in five weeks in Albuquerque. It is the first since the Department of Justice came out with its findings on the department, saying there is a culture of aggression and pattern of excessive force. But it is far too early to determine if this shooting was justified or if the officer involved had any other options than using deadly force.